Hopefully that solved our problems. Hopefully that solved our problems. Because that was weird. Do apologize. I mean, maybe you guys aren't even noticing it, I don't know. But on my end, let me tell you, it was showing like 400 drop frames in a row. Which is a lot of fucking frames. Um, north, I'm sure. And we might as well save. Did some more. Did some more juicing. This is not an all natural run. This is a, uh. In a genetically enhanced, performance enhancing, uh. Seeds we took. And not the kind. You bumped up Fina's HP stats so she could actually live a few hits. <laughs> I leveled hers up uh, a little bit last stream as well. Oh, okay, we gotta go like that way. I didn't realize how far north we were. How's it going, Shu? I apologize for the rocky start to the stream here. So, we gotta go under the clouds. Actually. There we go. My internet decided it wanted to die, so. Okay. Uh, Spook it down, yeah. Take a look. Oh my god, that is not the map button. Okay. Where is the ma of tartar sauce? Okay, we gotta go uh, southwest a little bit. This way. Uh, guys? Where's the ma of tartar sauce? Is this it? You're gonna back and forth between here and the NFL draft. NFL draft. Guys, I feel like I'm in the Maw of Tartar Sauce. Oh, I went too far? What the goddamn fuck? Guys, any, any idea on... Uh, any tartar sauce strats? I'm just mashing A. Flying all over the place. I'm gonna follow this seam. Maybe it leads to the maw of tartar sauce. I always forget that you can, like, do this to help. Oh, yes, I can't. Okay. I'm back and. Oh, hey, Vector, how's Aiden it going? Christensen, Ghost. This is bullshit. We're just trying to find the maw ma of tartar sauce. Let me tell you. I ain't finding shit. But we got some free fish, so. Really. That was the true objective. Oh, we found it! We found something. But they have kills. Oh, it's a ship mission. Well, I'm not gonna save because... This is kinda cool. It's like a, sh it's like a dungeon, but you're in your ship. Is that how like this whole dungeon is? Cause that's pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool indeed. Hopefully it's not airship battles though. Alright. It's not airship battles, so we're good. Let's kill the shrimp. And you kill the stalk fiend. Oh man. I had a freaking headache all day. My allergies are killing me, man. It still hasn't rained here yet today. It hasn't rained. 
yet today. It hasn't rained yet this year. So everything's, everything's like under a big fire warning, fire ban and all that shit. And my allergies are like going nuclear right now. Allergy meds don't do shit. They're like just decoration allergy meds apparently. Placebos if you will. Okay, um, hopefully Rain of Swords still kills these guys. I fucking hope so, man. Uh, what do we got here? Sure, everybody team up on the thing. Yeah, I was gonna say, these guys are all gonna go first. This thing kinda looks like a sideways, uh, minnow. You ever been to, like, the lake? You see those little minnows in there? We used to catch them in our nets. Kids, or catch them in like a bucket, little minnows and shit. Like see through them, they're so small. Kind of what those things remind me of. All right, please, everyone, die. Oh god, these fucking big things. Do not die. Excellent. Oh, and they defend every turn. But the gales. Oh no, I just unplugged my controller. Okay, we're, we're back. Um, I guess we'll use Reign of Swords again. No, let's use Cutlass Fury on that one. And everybody else dogpile on that one, I guess? I don't fucking know. There's an entrance somewhere around here. Don't remember where exactly. Oh, okay. Do you know what element these enemies are weak against? I might just start running away from these ones, because these guys, they just defend the whole time. You can't do any damage to them. Or like, what's yellow weak against? Oh my god, that's ridiculous, dude. I better get like 2,000 EXP from this fight. Oh my god. These guys are terrible. They're doing like, big damage, too. These are officially the worst monsters in the game so far. Like, he's almost dead. Old, old Enrique Iglesias over here. He's on the verge of fucking death. What does this do? This is confused, isn't it? Oh no, it's just the opposite of uh, that fire mode. If this heal- Oh my god, dude. Okay, these are the worst enemies in the game by far. I'm just gonna run, I think. We're just gonna take take the loss on this one. I'm not fighting these guys. Look at this. This is dog shit. What are these guys weak against, man? I do not like these monsters at all. These are like- I've fought bosses in this game that are easier to kill than these guys. Okay. Run command, it better fucking work. Okay, good. We got nothing for it. Don't even care at this point. Just happy to not fucking be fighting it anymore. Okay, I think we did buy some healing items. Yeah. Uh, that will do. Alright. Hopefully this doesn't get too mazy, because I have I have zero map and everything looks the same. Huzzah. Oh look, the path splits. Excellent. <laughs> okay, if we got those. Okay, good. We can, we can actually fight these guys. I mean, at least I think we can. I don't fucking know. Let's just dogpile on one enemy. I should use focus, maybe, with what's-her-name instead. Because she's going to do, yeah, like 12 damage. Oh, and then get counterattacked. Nice. She basically hit herself for 497 damage instead of dealing any damage to the enemy. Fantastic. Okay. 
Rain of Swords. Um, kill that thing. Um, just focus, please. And kill that thing, I hope. Oh, we're all fire element right now. So that's not helping me with anything, either. I, I really need to figure out what these guys are weak against. I do not think it's fire. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Please be dead. God damn it. Oh, he's got a confusion thing. Nice. Okay, wow. These guys hurt a lot, apparently. Yeah, all the monsters in here hurt a lot. Okay, let's start fucking around with our elements. Let's try blue, maybe? What's like good against electricity? Silver? I don't know. Let's try blue. You'd think it'd be the other way around though, so I don't know. Use Reign of Swords. Everybody else dogpile on this guy. Wait. Let's try blue. We gotta figure out what's what these guys are weak against. Probably should have used different colors for different guys, but whatever. I feel like blue is even weaker. This doesn't count because that was a crit. It's either blue or silver being good against yellow. Okay, I'm gonna try silver. I don't think blue did much. Ooh, we do get good EXP. Which is good, but goddamn, these guys are not fucking easy. Okay, I'm gonna go to the right, I guess. I kinda wanna see this crystal, though. I don't know if you can actually do anything. No. Alright, to the right we go. Hopefully we don't have to come back to this room. I will get lost. There's a 100% chance of me getting lost. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, look! We're gonna run. Retreat. Let me run. There we go. I don't know if the screen will even go black if we can't run. The suspense is killing me. Okay, I'm trying to remember that if we go back to that room, we have to take a right. That's what I'm trying to remember right now. So I don't fuck this up. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's try silver. I mean, unless it's that flat worm thing. Then we just run. Okay, good. These we can fight. Okay, let's try silver. For her, it doesn't matter. Um... I don't fucking know. Keep her on blue, I guess. Alright, dog pile on that guy. 291. Yeah. 324. Damn. It's never good when the enemy's hitting you for more than you can hit the enemy. That's that's for goddamn sure. 519 though, that seems higher. Maybe it is silver. We're using Increm a lot. And the the reverse of Increm. Oh nice counter. Don't work! Oh you fucking bastard, dude. Slumber dust, now he's gonna sleep us. They're both okay. I'm probably gonna go with blue then, because I have all the silver spells pretty much. Please don't work. Oh my god, this is the worst dungeon in the game so far, and I've been in it for a few seconds. This is horrible! 
I think we did figure out at one time that the, uh, the stone will wear off on its own after a certain amount of turns. I think we figured that out by accident. God damn. Okay, so everyone's, like, way higher level than me all of a sudden. And not only that, but they have, like, the worst status fuck abilities. Like, regular monsters in here are stronger than bosses have been up to this point. This guy's just gonna die. Um, use just his shield, I guess. I don't fucking know. See if we can kill something. I don't see it happening, though. It's weird because, like, you get good EXP in here, but it's like, you can't grind in here because everything kills you. Okay, please kill something. Do something. Alright, we can skip that shit. Nice, dude. That was that was good damage. And we're all dead. That probably has like a death status. Just insta Oh my god, he's so fucking lucky. That's ridiculous. Okay, everybody's still dead basically. Fantastic. Um, who do we have? Okay, um, might as well use Lambda Burst. Okay, we do have her. Okay, good. Let's use this one. I don't, I don't see how this guy makes it out alive, but let's use Justice Shield. <laughs> I don't see how Enrique makes it out of this alive, but, uh, maybe. If Lambda Burst kills all those guys, we'll be okay. Oh, I didn't skip the cutscenes now. Welcome to die! Okay, I killed all the really annoying guys. But if this guy chooses to hit Enrique, we're fucked. Okay, I think we're good. Fina over here tanking for us. Fina's our new tank, apparently. Moobs, give me strength. All right, Vice is back. Now we can actually deal some fucking. Oh, we can deal some fucking damage. All right. <laughs> Welcome to die. Vice is like. Kill that bitch. Watch it not even kill him. I feel like for these monsters, we should we're probably better off just focusing up and then using our uh, our crew skills. Because these guys aren't easy. These guys are like very tough. They get fucking beautiful EXP, but it's almost to the point where it's not even worth it. Okay, she's got a lot of MP now. Let's use this. And we have a shitload of MP potions as well, so. Something I have to keep in mind. I keep kind of forgetting. Oh, what's this? That looks like a thing, doesn't it? Maybe? Maybe not? Did we just dead end? Only one way to find out, brother. Son of a bitch. All right, let's switch everyone to blue. There we go. So yeah, we really want to get rid of these Mad Narbs. What a name, Mad Narb. Let's use Lambda Burst, because she actually was able to kill them with it. Oh shit. There we go. I mean, hopefully she kills all of them, instead of just the, the yellow guys, that'd be great. Oh no, I forgot to hit the fucking start again, dude. I'm just dragging these battles out. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I expected to happen. The yellow guys to die, but the blue guys to stick around. Ugh. 
Start focusing, baby. Okay, what are these guys like? Not bad, not bad. <sighs> they all sound like they're like taking a shit or something. Got him. Huh, that was easy. That was easy. I keep thinking it's Tuesday, man. It's fucking Thursday. The week don't hate me that much. We're just juicing the fucking blue magic right now. Oh, we got a Moonberry! Okay, what is this? Anything? You received Dexis Seed. Oh. This, uh, treasure... Oh, that's a treasure chest? Could've fooled me. Um, okay. Let's, uh, use it, I guess. It's a, it's a speed thing, right? Yeah, agility. Let's up Vice's agility. So, when we leave this tunnel, we gotta take a right. When we exit this tunnel, stick to the right wall. Because we came in through the left. This is a cool idea for a dungeon, though. To be completely honest. Like, the whole dungeon is done with the airship. That is so fucking cool. Man. At least I think so. No. Maybe you guys think it's stupid. Okay, don't be the skitterbug things. Okay, we're good. No skitterbugs. Let's see how high we can get. Because we start with 11. Let's see how high we can get if we all charge on the first turn. What we end up with next turn. I don't think we can get to 48 in one turn, can we? There's no way. I don't know what Incremis does. Oh, that's the fire one. Okay, no, no. I thought it was like a, a purple one. You know, for being the yellow dungeon, these guys use a lot of red magic. I would say. Ouchies. Oh no, these guys also have stone ooze. Stone ooze. Oh nice, it missed. But they've killed. Thirty-three is the highest we can get it to. Okay. Rain of Swords. Lambda Burst. Charge. And you should probably attack the big one, just in case. Nice. Probably didn't need the Lambda Burst. Didn't realize that the Rain of Swords was going to kill those guys so much. So fast, I guess. Lambda Burst is like weaker than our regular attacks. He's also, uh, he also happens to be like juiced up, to be fair. He's fucking dead now, though. Bonk. Come on, Vice. Holy shit. Dead. Fuck that strong, dude. That's a really good move. Doesn't even cost that like that easy. much. I mean, it did when we learned it, but now that we started at 11, doesn't even cost that much. Got a Dexa seed. Dude, we're getting just like permanent stat increases out the butthole. I think the last th the last one was a Dexus as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna keep leveling up his agility because. If we can get him to go on first turn, we can, like, one-hit kill some dudes at some point. Just check in. I think this is the room. Yeah, yeah, So we gotta go straight. And to the right. And then we're in, on a, in a new path. New tunnel. Don't be skitterbugs. Okay, we're good. Like, what if I just use Cutlass Fury? I don't think it was that strong, though, was it? I think I used that once. And it wasn't very strong. Focus. And you attack the other one. 
Hopefully she can kill one by herself. God damn it. I'm gonna have to like keep leveling up her. Oh yeah, those guys just heal each other too. That's unfortunate. Damn, I can't even kill those guys. That's rough skis. That is not good. Yeah, these guys are so annoying, man, because they just heal each other. I don't think they heal the big guy. I think they just heal themselves or, like, each other. Doesn't seem like they really heal the big guy. Use Reign of Swords, and everybody pile up on the big guy. Except you. You just focus. Actually, this guy was, like, really strong against the big guy, so... He did, like, over a thousand damage, I think. the fucking button in time. Oh well. Hopefully uh, Enrique can finish this guy off. Got him? Fuck yeah, dude. That's strong. That's really strong. It costs like nothing. We did it. I don't know why it's so strong. Alright. We're just getting fuckloads of blue magic right now. Drowning in the blue magic. We have now entered the Ralphie's butthole. Remember your fucking magic school bus? That's what this that's what this dungeon reminds me of. Magic school bus when they're like Alright kids. We're gonna enter through Ralphie's mouth and ex escape through his asshole. With the frizz? No way. Don't be skitterbugs. It is we gotta run away. Is that fucking impossible? Oh, just a bunch of weak guys. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Hold on. Sure. I have no idea. I probably should have just got her to focus. I don't know why I even let her attack. She's so fucking weak. Over there. Oh, that guy's blocking too. Oh, right, I forgot. These guys like to heal each other. So we do have to try. We probably should have just focused on them, guys. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I not just using random swords? There we go. See, if Vice, if I got Vice's agility high enough... You'd be able to just use Reign of Swords on the first turn, and then we wouldn't have to watch all this. Same with once we finally get our levels high enough to where we start with uh, however many spear points it costs to use Reign of Swords. I think it's like 14. Because we're at like 11 right now, I think. But if we can get that, if we can get that fucker up to 14, that'll be a game changer. This is definitely the first time in the game where I kind of feel underleveled, so I'm getting a little bit scared. Just a touch. We've been lucky out with the Skitterbugs, and I know saying that will have jinxed it, but we have been lucky out. Oh, we didn't get any. Nice. Okay, so let's just attack the blue ones. You, use the Lambda Burst. You, do that. You, do that. Hopefully we can kill at least two of them. Oh, wow. That was good damage, especially considering the guy was blocking. Lambda Burst! Oh no, the start button's not working. 
Rip. We still gotta watch the cutscene. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to speed this shit up. Oh, so only one of them is blocking. Gotcha. And it was the one Enrique attacked, of course. Nice! That's gonna help. Oh, Fina with the clutch kill. Nice. We were able to get them all. An utter victory. An utter a victory. With Rike in his tight toit butt. Uh oh, another fork in the road. Well, we went to the right last time, so let's go to the right again. Okay, let's see. No skitter bug, please. Oh, what the fuck is this? What in the goddamn fucketh be this? I have, I do have strats for this, for this very situation. Justice Shield only costs four. So we'll just cast ju ju ca a bit We'll just cast uh, Justice Shield and have everybody else focus. Easy peasy. Now he can't hurt us. And we can charge up and use uh, Pirate's Ass on him. The most OP move of all time. I hope. Hopefully we have enough of Pirate's Ass. Bet they have deals. Just in case, and oh, Royal Blade is four. Okay, or is eight. Ah, uh, we can use Justice Shield again. May righteousness be our shield. May righteousness be our shield. The power of friendship will protect us. Oh shit. Okay, this might not actually kill him. Terrible bite. What the fuck? Don't die. Okay, you can't die because guess what? Guess what, bitches? We've got fucking the shield of friendship on. Wait, did she just miss her focus attack? And by focus attack, I mean her focus. Cause that's weird. Everybody else focus. Why can't she focus? Oh, is that what that does? That's like a status effect thing. That makes it so she can't focus. Okay. Did not know. That's what the teardrop does. We've It's only taken us 35 hours of the game to figure that out. Never said I was smart, guys. Let's see what we get for damage here. I haven't used this move on a strong boy like this in a while. Yeah. Not as much as I was hoping. That 58 damage, though. That was some clutch shit, bro. Okay, let's see what this does. Can't be good. Maybe the, uh, maybe the cool, coolness ices our muscles and, you know, helps them to recover. That's not what it does. Okay, Cutlass Fury. Um, God damn it, we still might not kill this guy. Attack. Um, magic, I guess. Sacrum, and now he can't do his thing. So attack! Hopefully this kills him. Because I do not want anyone to die. I mean, I want him to die. I don't want us to die. There we go. Just enough to get the job done. Let's see what we get for EXP from fighting this one giant Dagron dude. We are victorious. We are victorious. Why is Enrique the one that gets to brag after each battle? Not good. Not good. That was uh, fairly pathetic, actually. The uh, the EXP we got. Okay. Um. One more. Good luck. Or 
worth of good measure. Um, okay, we do have a shit ton of these. There we go. Just in case. Alright, let's head to the right. To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. You can find them at the market. I'm talking about flea market. It's just like, it's just like a mini mall. No flea market Montgomery fans in chat. This place is a fucking maze! Guys, I don't know if I told you this, but uh, I really like mazes. Okay, um, we know all the the yellow floaty guys will die. So let's team up on the Stalk Fiend. Stalk? Probably Stalk. No! I can't skip Lambda Burst for some reason. Wait, who do you really like? Uh, mazes. I really like mazes and I'm really good at them. Wink, wink. Oh, Moses. <laughs> How's it going, Curse? How's it going tonight? We're just uh, getting lost in this Gigantosaurus Rex uh, dungeon. This dungeon's cool, though, because it's so big that we explore it with our airship. Oh, another save point! Either this is, oh, another save point, or it's, oh, we made our way back to the entrance. Let's hope it's the second option. Or, first option! Oh, hi, all good. Twitch is all about explaining to the viewers how lost you are. Is it? Is that what it's for? Because then I came to the right place. This place was fucking made for me, then. Could she use... Oh, no. Yeah, let's smack this dude around a little bit. That's how most streams... Is that, is that actually true? Most people are like, well, I'm lost, so... People literally just stream so they have other people in the chat that can tell them where to go. This is gonna miss! Because of that status effect that we just learned what did 35 hours into the game. I've been being affected by the status effect, I just don't use focus very often. In real life and in the game, I just don't focus very often. You know what I'm saying? Damn! Okay. Let's stop picking on Enrique any time now. So now, ah, oh, I was about to say. So now we have enough MP to use Lambda Burst, but we don't. We don't actually. Viewers can be a great help. It's way more fun to play, for sure. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. 10,000%. Oh, good. He just healed uh, his friend. Please die. Thank you, kind uh, crab flower thing. Yeah, he, he was already fully healed, and he healed himself. But hey, nobody said the monster was smart. Leave him alone. He's trying. He's doing his best! Damn, Enrique. Always seem full of energy. Well, tonight I'm probably a little less full of energy. Just because of allergies, man. It still hasn't rained here yet this year. So, everything's covered in snow mold and, like, leaf dust. It's fucking awful, man. Feels like there's like a fucking balloon behind my, in my temple and behind my eye. It's the best, the best, the best. Hey, did I ever make that? I'm, I wanted to make a sound clip for this, but maybe I didn't make it. What about this? No, I never did make it, did I? Okay. Okay, I can save. I can save. I just hope this isn't the entrance, man. If we accidentally went all the way back to the entrance, I am going to be sad AF. Oh, 
Oh, this is not the entrance. So, what does that mean? Oh, what is this? That looks like the next boss. We should heal. Yeah, I do need ribbon. Uh, no, one, if, if you're above the clouds, there's no encounters. Right now, we're like under the clouds. We're like underground right now. Which is the opposite. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. We don't really use a strong spell. Everything costs one MP out of battle. Um, let's chug some magic droplets. Fina's gonna do some magic droplet butt chugging for all of our pleasure. Okay. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna have to fight this, aren't we? Either with our airship or with our arms. Have you been cursed? I saw you were playing some s spoopy game the other day. Is that? That is Yaligar, the Yellow Gigas. <laughs> Sylvite mages managed to put him to sleep, then they sealed him in here. Yelligar is extremely powerful, so it's best that we don't wake him. The crystal is in Yelligar's possession. We have to find a way to remove it without waking him. It looks like, uh, we already woke him. Oh, there's the, uh, the, the front door. We came in through the back. Right above him is the other entrance, basically. But we went underneath. We went underground to get here instead. Great, he's awake! We stay here, we won't be able to dodge the lightning. We have to get away from him. Engines, full reverse. Oh god. We're so fucked, dude. Oh, he's breaking the seal though. So at least we can like just leave through that after we beat him. If we beat him. This is bad. Uh, I was playing Soma. Someone created a Twitch account for one of the characters in game and was talking to you in character on chat. That's funny. I've never heard of that game before. What is it about? Like, I was watching you play it a little bit, but you were just like in a room and it was kind of weird. Uh, this is bad. He made breaking the seal look easy. This isn't a good sign. Looks like we're going to have to fight him to get the crystal. Battle stations. Let's take that thing down. All right, time to die. Natural, my God, every one of you, naturals. We're gonna fucking We're gonna die. Fucking die. Yelligar, ancient records say that its thunder tore open the skies themselves and its roar shook the ground. Whoa, it doesn't sound like a very friendly Gigas. Vice, we should be extra careful. When have we met a friendly Gigas? Okay, um... Damn, okay, um... Let's use the Serpent Torpedo. And have it land... Oh, it can only go two? Okay. Land there. Um, you got this. You've been asking for the Super Boss. No, I don't want to fight a Super Boss. Um, Ica, use Incrim. Fina, mm, focus. And you, use this one. Okay, so Incrim buffs our defense and our offense. So far, he's not attacking. Launch our torpedoes. Hopefully they hit him. And I think focus. Yeah, he's like a scorpion or something, it looks like. Big yellow scorp. 
Scorpy boy. One of the few things I'm afraid of. Scorpions. Oh no, famous bot. The fuck on out of here, boy. Photon charge. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with for damage. Nothing. This guy's a bitch. First rule of combat. Always get overconfident. Alright, the torpedo missed, but the cannons did a fuckload of damage. So that's really good. That's really good news. Okay, we still don't have a chance for the big gun, but we now know that our cannons can fuck his day up. Um, let's focus here, and focus here, and do some more damage uh, here. Hey, we might as well, yeah, let's do this. Were there any tough? Oh no, they're all, they're actually like really hard. Uh, I'm just making them look easy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for the first half of the game, um, I would, it took me like four tries for each airship battle boss. What? My cannon missed! What the goddamn fuck? Turn around, dickhead! Why are you shooting your cannons into the nothing? Oh my god, who's flying this thing? I wasted all my fucking spirit points, man. All my spirit fingers. God, what a crock of shit. Why would they do that? Uh-oh, this is his big move, isn't it? No, don't do it. What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> this guy's a bitch. My new ship is, like, so fucking strong, man. Like, I got this extra protection on my hull now. It kind of makes my ship OP as fuck. Plus, now that I have, I have, like, all my healing magic maxed out, so I just use, like, one MP... I use like 1 MP and like 3 SP and I can uh, I can like max heal my ship in one turn. It looks kind of flat. Maybe we should try attacking from below or above. Above, below or above? What the fuck am I talking about? Above or below? It might be easier to hit it that way. I think above is the best because below is where it shoots its cannons from. Let's try attacking it from above. Increasing altitude. I knew it! 2 OP for crabs! Don't even need the special shampoo. Alright. So as much as I want to fuck this guy up, um, I don't want to waste a bunch of shit. Know what I'm saying? Here, let's use this at the end. Let me go like that. And then let's just focus like crazy. Oh! Oh! Not just focus like crazy. Let's also cast Increm, so that when we get to use our big gun, Next turn. Apparently we chose the right choice, by the way, because we get to use our moon moonstone cannon or whatever it's called next turn. Because of our decision to move up. So we want to focus so that we have enough spirit fingers to to use the uh, the moonstone cannon next turn. I just wish these battles were like sped up, you know? They're so slow. Like, they don't need this little in between Sailey shit. Like, it could go straight to my attack. I feel like my attack's gonna, gonna miss because we're above him and not at his side in any way, shape, or form. But who knows? Yeah, apparently they were like incredibly proud of the animations. See, you'd think because we're above him that this wouldn't even hit him, but. GG game. GG. Okay, but we're above them, so our broadside cannons probably won't fucking do anything. Yeah. 
That's what I thought. But it doesn't matter. We get our big gun soon. That's really what we're going for here. Face of action. Not cool, man. Damn, not a single weak point. Um, more importantly, is it just me or does that thing look a little more active? Is the seal weakening on it or something? Oh, no. But perhaps, whatever the reason... Perhaps, but whatever the reason, it appears to be building up for some sort of attack. Wish there was some way we could knock it off balance like we've done with all the other Gigas. But it's just too big. Anything short of the Moonstone stone Cannon probably won't even move, make that thing budge. Let's we'll just hit it with the fucking Moonstone Cannon. Easy fucking peasy, bitch. Okay, um... So first things first, Moonstone Cannon away! Second thing second, um... Let's, uh, focus, I guess. We do have a crit spot, so I kind of want to use, um... I don't know if we can... This is the front cannon, right? Oh, I don't know what to do, because there is a crit spot here, which offers us a chance to actually fucking hit the thing. So let's do that. And then let's uh, focus again, because we do... No, you know what? We have the chance to use the the big gun two turns in a row if we play our cards right. So we could probably finish him off next turn if we do if we strategize properly. See, look how powerful our cannons are when they do actually hit. This thing's just really hard to hit. It's a charge and it's laser! Yeah, it is. So are we, though. As long as our laser hits him before his laser hits us, then we'll be golden. Rat row. I think that's just its noob attack. I think we're fine. They said its seal is weakening, though, so maybe it's getting stronger. No, it's not getting any. It's a bitch. It ain't getting no stronger. Look how look at how hard higher fucking SP is. We probably didn't need to charge it at all. We're at like 50 out of 69. Okay. Now for the fucking moment of truth here. If we hit it first. Yes! Suck on these nuts. Suck on these nuts. The Moonstone Cannon, baby. This might kill it, but probably not. I'll probably need one more. Ooh, I need more than one more. Either way, that took him down to almost half health. And he lost me. Nice! Alright, that did it. It's off balance. Haha, <laughs> leave it to the Moonstone Cannon. Alright, everyone. Now's our chance. Open fire. Fucking right. Moonstone Cannon right at the start. Oh, my Incrim. Oh, did I not cast Incrim? Or did it wear off? Uh, let's cast... Ooh, that's way too expensive. Let's cast Incrim. Um, let's focus. Let's try and broad... Let's try and, uh, hit it with the Yamato. Yamato cannon. Here we go, baby. Can we skip... No, we can't skip these cutscenes. I'm a fire in my laser! Come on, baby. I wish I had time to have cast Incrim before that. The legendary Yamato Cannon! Yep. Isn't that from like Gundam and shit? You have a Yamato? Yeah, that's true! There's the Yamato uh, to make the, the spear. That one spear in uh, Curse of Darkness that I've just never fucking built. Alright, hopefully I can hit him with the Yamato Cannon. With my luck, that's when I'll be beside him, is when I go to fire the Yamato Cannon. Yeah, it looks like he's finally going to be on the broad side of me, so the Yamato won't work, but we'll see. Maybe it will. I doubt it, though. Oh, it did! Nice! One more big shot, and he's dead. Missed the big shot. We just gotta hit him one more time with the Moonstone Cannon. Vice, what now? Orders, please! Uh, pursue an attack, baby. 
Uh oh, I chose the wrong option. Not good. Okay. Um, let's use the Yamato, because it seems to be the only fucking thing that can hit him. Uh, let's focus. Focus. Wait. Uh, focus here. And, oh, I only have one Yamato cannon. Okay. Um, let's just use Sacralum. Let's fully heal. No reason not to. Somehow, everything got named after it. Imperial family, ships, spears. Uh, Yamato is originally the area around today's Sa Sakurai City in Nara Prefecture of Japan. Yeah, everything's named after it because the Yamato is what like the Japanese people used to refer to themselves as. It means like the, the mountain people, basically. So, that's why like Yamato spirit is like the spirit of Japan. Voltigar! Yeah. Yeah, brother. Alright, let's take this a fucker down. Let's destroy this mafka. Next turn, he's dead. A fashow. Watch, I'll have used up all my... Oh no, I don't think I used the Yamato at all. Or did I use it once? I'm just trying to figure out if I'll have enough focus for the next turn. I think I will. Or next, enough uh, spirit fingers. But yeah, ever since I learned that healing spell that just fully heals me for very little cost... Um, I've, I've become, I have become a god! Um, focus and focus just in case, but I think, wait, why do we not have Inkrum? Dude, this game is fucking me over. I cast the big Inkrum spell, and it like wore off. We need to make sure we have Inkrum before we should fire the Moonbeam Cannon. Here we go, photon charge. This guy is actually like incredibly weak. I must say. The monsters in the it's kinda weird because the monsters in this dungeon were actually harder than this boss. There were some monsters in this dungeon that I could not beat. Whereas this guy is going down. Like the bitch he is. Alright, I think this is the Moonbeam Cannon. Moonstone. Incrim wears off in two turns. Using Incremus makes it. Yeah, I thought I used Incremus last round. Like last turn. Very interesting choice of mechanics too, like adding slow ass strategy sequences. <laughs> we got him, boys! This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Look at that EX motherfucking B. That was beautiful. Captain Stripe and a we got a new sword. The Thunder Cutlass. All right, rip, rip the gigas. Another gigas down. We did it. That wasn't easy. It kind of was. It was easier than the dungeon itself was. That's for sure. Let's go get the crystal. It's amazing that we were able to get it before the Armada. Uh, well, since we got the yellow crystal, we should head back to Crescent Isle. This is the fifth moon crystal that we've collected. And now my quest is finished. Fina. You received the yellow moon crystal.
That one looks smaller than the others. All right, let's save, because we beateth the guy. That's what she said. We are 37 hours in. Holy shit, nipples. All right, so back to Crescent Isle, I would assume. Uh, you know what, let's uh, do this first. Yoink. All right, no more encounters for us. Where is Crescent Isle? Almost straight east. There it is, Crescent Isle. Oh yeah, Curse, check out our snazzy new uh, base. We got it all souped up. Oh, Gilder's back! Hey, long time no see. Wow, you got yourself a nice little base set up here. Ooh. Gilder! Heard that you sailed around the world. As always, kid, it sounds like you've been trying to get yourself into, tr into more trouble. I came here to hear all about your travels. That, and for a good meal. <laughs> good old Gilder. Pleasure before business. Another smug dude with feet on the table. Our chickens. Look at our sweet ass base, man. I don't know why we don't know why they built their meeting room like way up there. It looks like of all the places, that's the part that would break off the island. So you went to Yaftoma and then on to the land of ice, huh? Just listening to your stories makes my adrenaline flow. And so, in the end, you collected the five moon crystals. Nice work. Yeah, brother. Yep, we got them all. And since all of them are together, I suppose that means Fina will be taking uh, them with her when she heads home soon. Yes. Actually, there's something that was bothering me from earlier. Fina, where did you come from? Where exactly did you come from? I mean, where are you going home to? Wow, Gilder, would it be a racist prick? <laughs> random, yeah, the random encounters can't get that high up. Fina? The place to which I must return, the place where both Ramirez and I were born and raised, is the Great Silver Shrine. It is in a place high above the sky. The Great Silver Shrine? Long ago, when the rains of destruction fell upon the lands, and most of the world's population was killed, all seemed lost. The most powerful Sylvite mages met at the shrine. They combined their energy to send it into the sky, above the destruction. They escaped the horrible fate that fell upon the rest of the world by rising above the destruction. Ever since then, from above, we have sworn to protect the people of this world from the same fate that our ancestors suffered. That is the primary mission of the remaining Sylvites. The Great Silver Shrine is high above the clouds, where no ship can reach it. I plan to take the Moon Crystals back to the Great Silver Shrine so that no one will ever be able to abuse their power again. But how are you going to get home? If I can get back to the ship that I came in, then I should be able to make it home. But when I was attacked by Valua, my ship sank beneath the clouds. Yeah, I remember you are talking about that ship you were flying when Alfonso attacked you. Hmm. It appears that we must find another way of getting Fina home. But if we find a way to get Fina back home, does that mean we'll have to say goodbye? We'll never get to see her again? Lately, I sometimes find myself thinking. I started thinking, if I'm unable to find a way home, that I'll be able to stay here with everyone. <laughs> I'm, oh, I got a graphics card update. Uh, I'm sorry. That's so silly of me. My orders were to gather the moon crystals and return, uh, and to return to the Great Silver Shrine with them. Uh, the Valuans. The items to make Vice's ultimate weapon are in one of the next dungeons, I believe. I'll help once you're there. Okay, thanks. 
Ramirez, what is the status on the construction of the of Dangrel Island? Yes, my lord. The construction of the port is complete, and the Lo and Deloco's flagship is currently being fitted so that it'll be able to submerge into deep sky. I've also received word that the elevator leading to the bottom of the deep sky has been completed as well. <laughs> Excellent. The time grows near. Soon the foolish empress and the rest of the people of the world will bow before my might. No, not just the people. The people and even those revered moons. Soon they will all be in my grasp. The people, the lands, and even the moons, they will belong to me. You shall remain supreme, Lord Galcian. Tomorrow morning I will leave for Dangrel. I wish to oversee the final stages of the construction myself. And tell the other admirals to assemble at Dangrel. I wish to know where they stand. Yes, Lord Galcian. I walk the path of death and destruction. I know you are a Sylvite. If you wish to change your mind, now is the time. I chose long ago to walk the path that you walk upon, Lord Gelsian. I shall ever be I shall forever be at your side. And I will cut down any of those that block our path. It is my duty. It is my porpoise. It's his porpoise. So he's gonna betray the uh, Empress. Serves her right. She's a dumb bitch. This is my house. This is, uh, Fina's house? I'm not really sure. This is nobody's house. Don't I have the coolest base ever? This is Ica's, I think. Yep, this is Ica's. Vice, now that we can go higher and lower than we ever have before, uh, we can explore all the places we haven't been yet. Like, where? We've been everywhere, man. We've been everywhere. This is where the magic happens? Yeah. This is Fina's room, where the true magic happens. We finally gathered all the moon crystals. My mission's finally over. Thank you for all your help. Oh, I can think of a way for you to thank me. <laughs> no, man. The fuck's in this little tent? Nothing. Alright. Did our weapon shop get upgraded at all? BT dub. Uh, I've got a collection of some of the finest weapons that you'll ever see. Alright, I just got a new weapon too. Okay, so he's got the exact same shit that he had before. Why did I do that? Captain, I'm a little tired right now. My youth is escaping me. If you return later, when my strength returns, I shall forge a blade worthy of legends. Okay. A warrior who neglects his weapons is living on borrowed time. Okay, I did get a new weapon from the, uh, the boss. All right, so here's the cat. Here's the the thing. Um, I don't even remember what this guy. Is. Does this guy buy, just sell re regular items? Oh no, he sells like stupid items. All right, fuck that guy. No, why do I do that? Um, here's the thing. Gilder is the coolest character in the game, but. Um, Enrique's defense is incredible. Like, it's broken. So, part of me wants to bring Gilder with me if we can, but to make the game a little bit easier, I kind of want to just keep Enrique in the party, because he can be our hero, baby. Magic Dew, I, I have enough magic droplets that I probably don't need Magic Dew. Um, alright. Well, that was one I wanted to. Okay, let's load up on some seeds again, I think. What's the difference between quick and agility? Or are they the same thing?
Let's buy like two of these. And like two of these, and then I think we're broke. But we can also sell uh, Vice's old sword. And then we're still broke. Um, oh, we've got like a lot of armor that we can sell. There we go. These don't really do much. Oh, we have to remember to level up our airship. Okay, let's buy. Well, we got two of these. Two of those. Yeah, let's spend the rest on HP. There we go. No, why do I do that every time? Okay, we... Thank you very much. Please come again. Dude's a fucking millionaire. Okay. HP. There we go. Um, and let's give one to uh, Vice as well. If Vice dies, we're fucked. And this is power. I think that's all we got. Oh no, we got the... Oh, uh, did I buy MP seeds by accident? Oh, never mind. That's that's not a seed at all. Quick is what I meant. Yeah, two of those. Okay. Um, and then power and Ica. There we go. What's everybody else? What's everybody looking at, looking like now? His attack is four hundred and two. Holy shit! Ica's is two eighty four. Enrique is still stronger than her. And then, of course, the weakest of the weak, Fina. That's okay. She's got strong magic. Strong magic defense. She's got decent defense, actually. Uh, before the final dungeon, I'd grind to buy as many of those seeds as you can. Okay. You're scaring me. Alright, let's go to the old ye oldie planning room. chance to check this room out. Now that's a big painting. Enrique said that his mother had this painted for him when they started building the Delfinas. That's a big painting. How did we even smuggle that aboard? Uh, this is the treasure we stole. Uh, the treasure box was full of moonstones. Not a bad catch if I do say so myself. Yeah, open the curtains, dude. There's maps from all over the world. Maps are really valuable to any sailor, so they need to be stored carefully. Crew talent show. Cleanup duties of the underground harbor. Interesting. These are all books that Enrique brought from Valua. This must be why he knows so many tidbits of information. Okay. It's a model of the Delphinus that Problem made, based on some designs he found on board. What's that up there? That looks like our dad's ship. All right, so we're clearly not supposed to go here. Back to the ship, I guess. We can check out that building too. I don't even remember what it is. Maybe that's the bar. I remember spending money to try and upgrade the bar. <laughs> But I don't know if this is actually the bar or not. Oh yeah, it is. Ismael promised me that he'd build a stage for me to dance on, but he does not have enough money. Do you have more money? Ismael said it would take 500 gold to build. Oh, 500. Why not, brother? I lost everything. Oh, this guy. Alright. 
Well, now that I have a kitchen that I can use, I'll just need some cooking supplies so I can get started. Hmm, I can get everything I need for a thousand gold. I don't know if I have a thousand gold. Thank you, Vice. You won't be disappointed. I'll start to get things right, ready right away. I'll be able to open my kitchen in a little while. Don't worry about a thing. Does the kitchen actually do anything? Or is it just for the lulls? Is Enrique still trying to bang that Japanese chick? Only one way to find out. Yep, yep he is. We have obtained all the moon crystals at last. Now I can finally put an end to my mother's tyranny. Although we fight op on opposing sides, she's still my mother. I hope he is. <laughs> I hope that I can convince her uh, that what she's doing is wrong and we can come to the to some agreement. This is a very beautiful island that you found, Vice. This pond reminds me of home. It's relaxing. I wish I could just stay here like this forever. I mean, you can. I was telling you you gotta leave right now. Oh, they paved this now? Man, look at our fucking badass base. It's sort of refreshing to see our flag flapping in the wind like that. Leave it the way it is. I ain't using those shit flags. Only my flag is cool. Everyone else sucks. Hold on. I wanted to do the cool view. Look at our little town. This game reminds me more and more of like Dark Cloud and Dragon Quest the more I play it. Do -do 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 -do. I don't want nothing. Reminds me of Poland? <laughs> really? That's what Poland looks like? Especially Ismael? The guy chewing on nails and shit? Sucking on a nail? Is that like common practice in Poland? Alright, I'm just checking all the buildings here. This is the old cannon maintenance room. Hey, make sure you shine those cannons good. Those cannons are the heart and soul of the Delphinus. My cannons are always ready to go. You never know when you're gonna have to blow something up. If I lose a battle, it's not gonna be because of a misfire. Okay, here we go. This is what we're supposed to do. Hey, Vice. Thanks for the food yesterday. It was delicious. Oh, Gilder, are you leaving already? Yeah, I need to get going, but before I go, I have some news for you. I found out some information on the Armada's latest project. I just heard about this the other day. It appears that Valua uh, has begun advancing into the lower altitudes. I heard that north of Pirate Isle, somewhere beneath the clouds, they're building a base on Dangrel Island. It's just a rumor, but I heard they're building a ship that can go into deep sky. Deep sky? Yes, beneath the thick layer of clouds, immersed in total darkness, there's a bottom of the world. No one has ever seen what's below the clouds. Some people say that it's completely dead. What could they be looking for down there? I don't know, but Phoenix ship sank beneath the clouds, right? Hmm, you're right. That must be what they're after. Thanks, Gilder. We'll go check it out. You don't need to thank me. Good luck, Vice. How did I read that? With a straight face? Read which? That it reminds you of Poland? <laughs> Alright, that guy hates me. Sorry, hates me, guy. Cannon Oath. He's buffing. I was just cleaning it and it went off. Okay, what do we got? Oh, ship equipment. We don't have any goddamn money, but if we did, we would have this cool ship equipment, guys. Pretty sure we have all this shit, other than maybe the... No, I think we have all this shit. Yeah, the only thing I'd buy is probably the Blueheim figure. But we're broke. As long as the enemy can't silence, cast like silence on me when I'm on the ship, we should be okay. Which reminds me, I do need to level up my ship. There we go. 
Is there no inn on our own island? Can I just go to, like, my bedroom, maybe? The pole is so much slower than just walking up the fucking ramp. Polish your cannons, men! <laughs> We're going to war. Strap on your cum rags, boys. We're going to war. Okay, what is... Is this a door or a window? That is a door. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, okay. This is, that's where they live. Okay. Hey, Drupal. Wondered why the frisbee kept getting bigger and bigger, and then it hit me. <laughs> How's it going, Drupal? Alright, hopefully I can, like, sleep in my own bed. Are you kidding me? We don't have, like, a free inn by sleeping in my own bed? Come in! Or is this my bed? Oh, this is my bed. Okay. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. We just beat the, uh, the, uh, tar the, the maw, maw of tartar sauce. Fought the giant space scorpion thing. Sky scorpion, maybe, I guess. Yes, we killed that thing. That was that thing was actually easy. The monsters in the dungeon, however, were incredibly difficult. I uh, had to run from like a lot of them. So I'm a little worried that I might be under leveled now for like the first time in this entire playthrough. But I guess we gonna find out. Do -do 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 -do. Now we get to go into deep, the deep sky, which is code for butthole. All right, let's go above the clouds first. Deep Space Nine. Alright, let's save out here, even though we just fucking saved. The place you're going to looks like a butthole. Excellent. Bet they have kills. Okay, um, shit. That was supposed to be the map button. There we go. So we gotta go, like, here-ish. They said it was near, like, Pirate Isle. Um, so let's go right fucking there. Um, southwest. Southwest Ahoy and shit, mateys and such. We need like a fucking jet engine. Oh yeah guys, if you're enjoying the stream and you haven't yet, please give me a follow here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash duke03, click that heart. Show me some love, get me one step closer to that dark cloud to gold. You can also check out my YouTube channel for my top tens, my reviews, and of course our podcast, youtube.com slash 3 My next video goes up on Saturday. It is a look at the original Double Dragon. I take a look at pretty much every version of the original Double Dragon, so check that shit out, my friends. Um, you can also um, join the Dick Sword to stay in touch with all us fine fucks. Two more days till Double Dragon. Yeah, dude. Get our double dagger on. On. Oh, what was that? That looked like a. That looked like a maximum spoopiness. Did you see that shit? Hey, you guys think okay. I can jump all the way hey, down the stairs? Hey, Mike. Is, on my side? is this it here? Because there was that fucking wormhole. Let's save before we potentially go into the dead zone. Oh, yeah. You're right. It is a giant butthole. The sphincter of the earth. And I'm going in dry. Or am I? I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. 
That's the butthole. How do I butthole, guys? Somebody Google how to butthole. Buckle up, buckaroos! Maybe we have to go to, like, Pirate Isle first? Which I think is this way. I'm not really sure, though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, okay, south. Should be a building down there. Oh, okay. Let's check Pirate Isle. Maybe they'll be like, I saw some assholes going into that giant asshole. Over yonder. Yeah, they said the Valuans are building something in there. Assception. Oh, right, we can change our weapons back. Um, I like Vice to be um, electric because electric is cool. I like I could be fire because I don't know. She has red hair, I guess. And Fina can stay as water. And Enrique Iglesias. Uh, can be, um, uh, uh, purple. Because it suits him, I guess. He's got, like, the purple hat and shit. <laughs> Keep going down. Make sure your ship is actually pointed at the hole. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stop at Pirate Isle anyways. It's been, like, 50 billion years since I've been there. Like, I was just talking all cocky, fighting the first monster you encounter in the game. Figured out how we can get like 500 viewers at a time. First, we need a hot tub. Fuck, I don't have a hot tub. I think second, I think you need tits for that to work though, Mike. Your strat. So that means we need to eat more. We need to feast! Yeah, dude, if you keep making those deep dish pies, we'll be there in no time. Or you, or you mean you're at the, you've got a hot tub? Because if you've got a hot tub, I'm on, I'm on my way. Mmm, pie. You should see the fucking pie he made, dude. He posted it in the Discord. Hey, Vice, did you know that there are six... Oh my god, dude. Get out of here. I can teach this guy how to fight. Fake ones, mo more likely. Hair pie? Ew, what? What in the goddamn fuck is a hair pie? Wait, don't tell me. Hey, let's talk to Grandma. It is said that many, many years ago, there was a great civilization that once flourished. Okay, Grandma. Making up your bullshit stories again. <laughs> fuck. Classic Grandma. Okay, um... Oh, let's go. I think our mom lives here. Fucking Grandma. Oh, you're home. Did you want to rest for a little while? Sure, I could use it as rest. Back in my day, Netflix was delivered in the mail. <laughs> Back in my day, you had to go to a store to rent movies. And they had posters and porno. All right, Grandma, whatever you say. We know it's not true. Back in my day, we used to have bees on nickels. Give me five bees for a quarter, they'd say. Around that time, we used to have wooden shoes as leather, as leather was a scarce commodity. And we used to eat the bees. That's French for nickels. What? Hey, Finny, how's it going, dude? Go talk to our Austin Powers Faja. This guy still doesn't want to join me, hey? Have you seen the new ship yet, Vice? Captain Dine had us build a new one. It's called the Albatross 2. We still had the old blueprints, so we were able to reconstruct the first Albatross exactly the way it was. How convenient for the game developers! 
Well, we actually upgraded its engines and armor, but just by looking at it, you could you can never tell. Am I out of touch? No, it's the kids who are wrong. Isn't that uh what's his name? The principal from The Simpsons. <laughs> How convenient for the game devs. She's got it right where she counts it does. Yeah, Skinner, that's his name. Skinner! Alright, let's talk to Austin Powers Faja. Now listen up, Vice. There are times when something other than brute strength or sharpness of mind is demanded of a man. We've already outdone anything he's ever done in his life. Don't even talk to me. Sometimes you have to have a firm grasp of the entire situation at hand. That's when you need to learn how to be a swashbuckler. People will notice how you behave in various situations and you'll begin to earn a reputation based on those actions. That's why you need to try and be as adventuresome as possible without forgetting your leadership responsibilities, okay? <laughs> hey, hey, Pops. Why don't you take that advice and, uh... Go fuck yourself. We literally discovered the Earth was round. We fucking figured out there's a sky above the sky. We're able to go beneath the sky. We've killed like five Giguses. Gigai? Giggities? We killed them. And now, and we've we've blown through the inescapable fortress of Valua twice. Nobody's ever escaped Valua, but us. Dude, I'm so fucking lost. Okay, here we go. Gigasises. Oh, okay. Gigasises. <laughs> Got it. How could I have? How could I have made such a simple mistake? Return to the Bell Delphinus. The SS Bell Delphine. Alright, let's save and try to penetrate the space time sphincter. Below. Alright, we, we literally did nothing in that town except talk to Grandma. Alright. Let's do this. I don't know. I don't know. What we do now? Uh, bite the pillow. The Delphinus is going in dry. Guys, there's nothing here. But the game, the guy in the game said. Guys, but the guy in the video game said that there'd be something here. Oh, what is this? Uh-oh. That's not supposed to be there. That's not supposed to be there. The Delphinus is going in dry. There she be! Dang damn it, Island! Oh, yeah! Admirals of the Valuan Arma Armada, I have urgent news that affects all of you. Oh, words of wisdom from the Grand Admiral himself, please. Enlighten us. From this day forth, the Armada will no longer be under the Empress's control. Gasp! Those that do not wish to walk this path that I have chosen, leave now. Those that wish to hear my plans, stay. What? What is this? Admiral Gaussian, do you know who you, what you are saying? Have you gone insane, Gaussian? Are you rebelling against the Empress? Rebelling? <laughs> <laughs> Fear not, Alfonso, for I 
am the Empress. Ha ha ha, fear not, Alfonso. I still have my wits about me. I am following my own path. It's your decision whether or not you wish to follow me into the great butthole of the beyond. <laughs> so Galcian finally shows his true intentions. Those words are treasonous. The punishment is death. Ramirez, if you speak in that manner again, I shall cleave you in two. What? No. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, Ramirez. There's no need for you to waste your energy on this whelp. What about the rest of you? Will you follow me? Lord Gelsian? It doesn't make any difference to me. As long as I get to fight, I don't care who's in charge. I'll stay in the Armada as well. I still haven't finished building the ship that can go into deep sky. Also, if I stay in the Armada, I'll probably get to fight Vice again. <laughs> I thought he was dead. Gregorio, what will you do? There's no way Gregorio stays with him. Lord Gelsian, what is your goal? I do not think that you are seeking the Imperial Throne. What is it you want? Ha ha ha! You are correct, that is not my goal. I want more power. More control than Velua has ever had. That is all I will say. Avar now. Huh. Dribble one, shoe 482. I'm catching up! This guy's a great A asshole. I mean, they all are. Except Gregorio. He's, he's a cool dude. Lord Gelsian, just what are you up to? Lord Gelsian is actually the, uh, the bad guy from the Double Dragon movie. Alright, here we are. Gonna die. Uh, we can leave, right? Yes, we can. So let's save! I did not want to save here if I could not leave, because the last dungeon... In the last dungeon, we found out that we were under-leveled. Which is absolutely terrifying for this guy. You're rounding the finish. What's your prediction on what's going to happen? Um, we're going to find out that the butthole leads to Earth. No spoilers, blocks. There's going to be, like... Uh, my house and everything down there, like my IRL house. Ooh, this music is cool. This little jingle jangle. Alright, thanks to the fact that the cameraman is an actual fucking character, and I swear it, this could be a pain in the ding dong. Hmm, I can hear someone talking. Moon energy system operating within normal parameters. Power supply to the entire base is flowing smoothly. Okay, the inspection for this area is done. Let's go to the next one. I think that's the control area for the base's power. Let's shut her down! Oh, we can't just jump through the... Okay, he's just looking. Taking a little peek. <laughs> this little jingle is pretty good. We in like some holding cell area, or is that below? Hmm, I can hear someone talking. Still don't get why they'd build a base down here. What's the point? There's nothing down here other than wind. I hear they're trying to build an elevator that goes all the way into deep sky. Deep sky? My mom told me when I was a kid that deep sky is the land of the dead. What if it's just, like, regular Earth? Uh, can we get through this? No, no, we cannot. It's a fan. It's probably for ventilation. I don't think I should get too close. But it looks like there's a passageway behind it. Hmm. Maybe there's a way to stop the fan. I wonder if cutting the power would stop the fan. Land of the Dead. Dookie's IRL house. Same thing. Exactly. I called it. Nailed it! That looks like treasure to me, boys. Give me some money. Hmm, I can hear someone talking. Hey, did you hear? Lord Gelsian is building a new top secret flagship. It'll probably be even more powerful than his old ship, the Serpent. I swear, that Lord Gelsian really is something. Did you know that Lord Gelsian has never been defeated in battle? 
He's a military genius. But then kills. I will be the first. Shit. Oh, dude. This fucking tune is slapping. Oh, no! There's enemies in here! I gotta be grateful that it took us, like, 25 minutes to, to for our first encounter to happen, is what I'm trying to say. What do we got? Just guards? They're guards. Okay, let's see uh, if we're still under-leveled. Go for that guy. You know what, Fina? Just focus, bud. <laughs> Just focus. Yeah. Oh. And he's guarding. Not good. Not good. That's all right. We'll see what Rain of Swords does to these guys. How can you even cast Rain of Swords in a ventilation duck? Holy shit! FX turn. FX Tourmaline, thank you so much for the raid, Rooney, my friend. Kaotrope, how's it going, buddy? Welcome to the grind. I'm gonna play my cheesy ass raid video. Please enjoy. Well, if it isn't a band of raiders, welcome to my shop. Make yourselves at home. Please feel free to take off your pants, crack open a beer ski, and give in to the grind. Puncture your buttholes! Come on in! I don't know why I said that. Uh, welcome! Welcome, folks! I'm glad you liked it! Hang out a while! Productions values! I know. I don't know if you can tell, but that wasn't my actual body. That wasn't even a costume. I used, uh, special effects to create the illusion that I was a shopkeeper. If you can believe it. It was just an optical illusion the entire time. Special effects, man. No pants grinding, best stream, or best stream ever. Those are the only two choices. You gotta choose one, though. Can't choose them both. Do we have proof that he's not wearing pants? Uh, I am wearing pants, alright? You guys are the ones that aren't supposed to be wearing pants. Hmm, I can hear someone talking! I, I think the only time I haven't worn pants on stream was like when it was really fucking hot down here and I forgot to turn the fireplace off. He was never in harm's way at any point in time. Yeah, it was all green screen. It wasn't a green screen. Uh, so these uh, so these are the schematics that Lord DeLoco designed. With his new design, his ship is supposed to be able to fly into deep sky? That's what I hear, but it's not like I can understand any of it anyway. It all looks like scribbles to me. Well, I heard that Lord DeLoco is going to take Lord Gelsian to take a look around the Chameleon today. What? If they see us slacking off in here, uh, we're done for. Let's get out of here. Yeah, if you like, uh, if you like JRPGs, um, Castlevania games, Mega Man games, this is the place to be. What were you guys playing? By the way, shout out to, uh, how do I do this here? S-O... And then F X T O U R M A L I N. Oops. N E 41. There we go. They were playing Good Night Night. What is that game? Never heard of that one, actually. This is a JRPG on the Dreamcast. Pretty fucking good game. We are deep into it. We are like almost 40 hours in. We are finding treasure, but we have to actually get down there to get it. We're invading an enemy, uh, a new enemy base that they're just like building right now. We're kind of trying to like fuck it up before they finish building it. It is a tough dungeon crawling game with some stealth elements. Oh, nice. Elite guard. Elite. These are the uh, elite beat agents. Get to the treasure. And hold. What? Oh, Arnold. Get to the treasure. Get to the chopper. The treasure. I have a terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation. It's fucking awful. It is garbage. Oh my god, so the guy we all attacked was fucking blocking. 
great choice. Great choice, guys. Okay. I still fail to see how we can even use Reign of Swords in this narrow fucking ventilation corridor, but here we are. Let's play the cutscene out. Just, just to show you why it's ridiculous that we can even use this move in here. Like, come the fuck on. That guy was blocking too. What a piece of shit. Usually they counter a lot. I remember playing Borrowing Skies of Arcadia Legends for the GameCube for my friend, and this game is great. Yeah, dude, I'm loving it, man. This is my first time ever playing it. This is one of those games that I've always, like, seen and, like, heard of and always wanted to play, but just never got around to playing. And it's fucking awesome. Okay, so we should be able to shut those fan blades now. Down now. Oh, okay. Our cameraman has, uh, left the party, apparently, and now we have Resident Evil cameras. Not a huge JRPG guy, but I've definitely been curious about this game. Yeah, it's really good. The combat is like, has like an extra layer, couple layers of depth to, to it, compared to like a lot of other JRPGs. Because you each weapon has like different elements and stuff, and you need to use your elements against enemies to do damage, especially against bosses. Like, you're gonna be probably fucked if you don't, uh, I think I've gone the wrong way here. If you don't use the uh, elemental weaknesses against the bosses, um, and status buffs and debuffs are incredibly important in this game, just like in like Dragon Quest and uh, like the Digimon, Digimon story games. Um, I also heard like Persona and uh, the SMT games are like that as well, where it, where like uh, buffs and debuffs are incredibly important. Over there! Thankfully this dungeon is actually easier than the last dungeon we were in, so... I can just mash X now. Last dungeon was incredibly hard. But the boss was easy, which was kind of weird, but... There's also airship battles in this, so there's not... There's not just, like, regular encounters. There's also, um, airship battles, which is pretty fucking cool. And the airship battles are kind of like tactical. You get you get uh, each each turn you get four attacks or moves to choose, and then it just kind of like plays out. You you kind of get like an idea of what the enemy is going to be doing that turn, and you have to like base your strategy around it. It's pretty cool. And then based on what you choose between turns for strategy, it gives it opens up different opportunities and stuff for the next turn. Sometimes you can like fuck up with your with your planning, and then uh, and then the next turn you have to go on the defensive. Um, I think I just loaded up on some healing items, so we should be okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for the raid, though, dude. I appreciate the hail out of it. So what other games, uh, what other games and stuff do you guys like playing? Uh, I knew that the fucking thing would turn the fan off. Alright, now we can go below and get us some god dang treasure. We can get us some god dang Give me money. Some money. Give me some money. Okay, um... started to speedrun Mario 64 two weeks ago. As much as I do not like Mario 64, that game is very fun to watch people speedrun. Because of the weird ass movements Mario can do. Hmm, it won't open. It's probably locked or barred from the other side. Wait, weren't we here once before? Maybe? Maybe not? Also runs Celeste and Cuphead. Cuphead is a game everybody keeps telling me that I would love, but I still have yet to play it. And Celeste is fucking incredible. Loved that game, man. Celeste, like, I'm not like a big, like, straight, straight platformer guy. I don't like platformers. I like action platformers. Like, I like Mega Man, I like Contra, I like, uh... 
fucking Castlevania. I don't like Mario. Um, probably the other only straight platformer I like would be, like, Sonic. But Celeste is that. If you're gonna do a straight platformer, that's how you fucking do it, man. That game was so good. I find, like, straight platformers to be boring. But Celeste is so fucking... Like, it's so well done, man. It's exciting. It's challenging. There's so many elements instead of just jumping. We need to race uh, Celeste with uh, BM and Anthony. Does anyone speedrun the Switch one since it's patched version? Uh, oh, like the Switch Super Mario 64? Is that what you're talking about? Or the Switch version of Celeste? I feel like we should focus on the Sentry, because I think last time we ran into sen these Sentry-type enemies, they started confusing us, and that's not fucking good. Mario 64. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, you guys know the Epic Win Gaming crew? I'm friends with, like, a lot of the Epic Win Gaming people. Like, Oigel, um... Um, Matt, me and Matt are good friends, uh, Keith, uh, Maddie, all those fine fucks. I feel like we're progressing and not getting treasure, which is kind of not what I want to be doing right now. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's back the fuck up for a minute. Earthworm Gim. can't do 16 below because you can't do blow jays nice <laughs> what are your thoughts on uh, Super Mario Sunshine my one buddy was uh, doing like a kind of a charity stream ish um, he was raising money for so his friend could get a new computer and anyways, he hates Super Mario uh, Sunshine. So every time he like donated a certain amount of money, he had to like get a certain amount of stars, I think, maybe, in Super Mario Sunshine. And it was hilarious watching him struggle through that game. It was pretty good. Backwards long jumps. Oh, but blow jumps sound way better. Super Mario Sunshine is also very janky, but at least it's pretty to look at. This is true. I've played Super Mario Sunshine just like a little bit. Um, at like a friend's house. Like t my buddy Tom had had it. And uh, it was fun to fuck around in. I don't know how it actually is to like play. It was fun to just like mess around in. Though. Everybody dog pile on that guy. Okay, we can skip these cutscenes, by the way. There we go. I wish all JRPGs offered that. Because, god damn. Especially, like, some of the summoning fucking uh, cutscenes in some of these games. Ridiculous, man. Let me tell ya. Okay, there better be goddamn treasure in here. If I came in this room for nothing. I came in this room for nothing, brother. Next. That's a great quality of life thing. Skipping long ass cutscenes. Absolutely. I mean, that wasn't like a long ass, but it was just like a battle. You know how like some of the battle animations have cutscenes? Like summons and shit. Imperial Blade. Did we just get our fucking hero, Enrique Iglesias, a new fucking sword? Can he be our hero even more? But they have kills. Nice, dude. So glad we got him a new sword. He's been faltering, dude. By the way, folks, if you are enjoying the stream and you haven't yet, please remember to click that heart. Show me some love. Get me one step closer to that dark cloud goal. You can also check out my YouTube channel. For my top 10s reviews and of course our podcast, youtube.com slash dp03. Nice, we got more moonberries. And on this Saturday, Saturday morning, 
uh, my Double Dragon video goes up. I'm looking at all the different versions of the original Double Dragon, so check that shit out. And if you want to hang out with all us fine fucks off, all us fine fucks off stream, join the Dick Sword. But yeah, what, uh, so like Dungeon Crawler, like what do you consider a Dungeon Crawler? Because like, technically like Dark Cloud was a Dungeon Crawler, but it's also a JRPG. Oh, what the fuck's that robot doing here? It's the Beer Zerker. But also, um, what was another one that was like a super Dungeon Crawler? Uh, Digimon World 2. That game was hella Dungeon Crawler. Here you literally have like, it's it's like one of those mystery dungeon type games, basically. I don't know if you've played those, but they're incredibly hard. Where if you like die, you just fucking lose everything and start outside the dungeon. Like Chocobo's dungeon, Tornico's dungeon. Top down view seems more, uh, a lot more stealth based than Unga Bunga sword swinging. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never heard of that game, man. I'll have to look it up. Reign of Swans. Kale Shrope did the music? Like, he made the music for, this, for the game? That's fucking cool as fuck. We did it! Oh, nice, dude. That's fucking cool as shit. That is badass, dude. Okay, we got two more rooms here. I wonder if we should start using magic for heals. I mean, probably should, probably should have made that fucking decision before opening the door. Game's a little slow paced, but you're trying to get through. Is it pretty long or not Not too bad, lengthwise? What would you, if there was like something you could compare it to, what would you say it's like similar to, I guess? Not sure? Well, bam. Focus your shit. Yeah, if you're wondering how the battle... Oh, nice. The battle system works in this is you have what's called spirit points. And you need to use those to use any of your special techniques. So that's why I'm just using bitch-ass attacks on the first round and having somebody charge us up. So that we can use Reign of Swords in the second round, which pretty much kills everybody because I've been power leveling the shit out of my main guy. Typically, you stick to shorter arcade style games, and you haven't played a game like that. Oh, okay. I like those two. And, like, uh, a lot of, like, retro games and shit. Like, we were playing, uh, like, Afterburner and, uh, Outrun. And, uh, 1980, no, 1942, bunch of old-ass fucking arcade games. On, I think, last weekend. I think I got all the treasures, guys. I'm not seeing any treasure in here. Oh, wait, that's a treasure right fucking there. 4,000 gold. All right, take out this way, and that's the edge. Okay, um, let's do that thing where we actually fucking heal. Equipment. Oops, not equipment. What the fuck am I doing? I am kind of getting burnt, burnt out playing like super fucking long games though. After this, we will be playing Police Knots. A game by Hideo Kojima, the guy that makes the uh, the Metal Gear series, and he also made Snatcher, 
Police Knots is apparently like the spiritual successor to Snatcher. I've never played it before, I've always wanted to. It was one of my follower goals. And thanks to all these fine fucks in the chat, we are able to play it. Alright, sounds good. Thanks for the raid, FX Termaline. Have a great rest of your day, my friend. What the fuck is this? Uh, rat row. Okay, um, I mean, we'll do the same strats. We should be able to hit 21, right? As long as, as long as, uh, Fina... Fina focuses. I just hope I shouldn't have used my defense attack. Or my, uh, defense skill, I guess I'm trying to say. Yeah. Holy yeah, shit, brother! Seriously, Doug, How's it going, Tom? High. Stop, Doug, we're too high. Yeah. Doug, we're too high. I'm high. We're He's fighting high. this giant so tank high. that's apparently a random encounter. We said we're high. Which is kind of weird. We're too high, Doug! Just accidentally stumbled into this guy. Doug, we are too high. What you up to we're tonight, man? We're too high to help we're you! Stone. Doug, we're... Doug, we're too hot! Too hot, dog. <laughs> oh, nice! All right, let's hit him with the pirates, the old pirate's ass. Hopefully it kills him. Damn. Yeah, I tried I tried playing Final Fantasy XIV. I think I streamed it twice. I got like six hours in and then I had to be like, nah. It was just like all fetch quests for like six hours. That was easy. Not my kind of thing. And, and it was fetch quests and getting lost in the starting town, because they made the starting town like the biggest fucking city ever. For some reason. Whoa, now that's scary. This must be an elevator shaft. Okay, well let's go where we're supposed to go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing, but I had I had one of my friends who was like hardcore into the game helping me play it, but it was just so fucking boring, man. It takes a lot for me to be able to get into an MMO. Like a lot. Okay, we're in another room. Let's see what's across the hall first before we go outside. Unless this is a giant fucking room. And it's a giant fucking room! Okay. Um, maybe let's go outside? Dude, this music is so good. Oh, never mind. This is what we're supposed to do. So we probably should have went outside, really. Probably was treasure out there. These must be the plans for the ship that, uh, that Gilder was talking about. I think you're right, Ika. All these, all the specs from the hull to the engine, they're all written here. This ship is Admiral DeLoco's ship. It appears that his ship is being modified according to these plans. Well, now that we have this, we might be able to get to the deep sky. We've gotten what we came here for. Let's get out of here. He's probably in there. Because they said he was coming. <laughs> We are currently strengthening the walls of the bridge. Increase the speed of the construction. Finish it within the week. Hmm. Rot row. Well, well, well. What do we have here? This time, I'll be sure to dispose of you all permanently. You received ship schematic. Let's go this way and hope there's a save point. How about that? The old camera rotate. And nothing. And nothing. And nothing.
that? Oh, we can go downstairs. Wait, no, we can't. Sure can't, brother. Uh, this is the first MMO I really got into, aside from Digimon and Star Trek when we played way back when. How's it going, Retro? Uh, I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Just playing some Skies of Arcadia. Alright, we gotta get the fuck on out of here. Um, that elevator still looks like not here. So let's just get out the same way we came in, I guess. It's good to hear, my man. Yeah, the only MMOs I ever really played was Star Trek Online, Digimon Masters, um, I used to play an old martial arts MMO called Fun, Fun Wong, Feng Wan or something online. It was super fucking good. Um, and then DC Universe Online. Those are the only ones I've ever gotten into. Gonna play CSGO. You're, like, you're going to play that? Okay, um, this way is the only way. Stop! Air Pirate! Uh-oh. That was Galcian himself? That's not good. Uh, Rip? <laughs> nice, dude. It looks like we meet again. Uh, last time we just ran away. I think that's probably our best option here. Galcian! Sounds good, Retro. Have a good one, dude. Heh. <laughs> Not only once, but twice you escaped from the Grand Fortress. Very impressive. However, do not think you will escape a third time. Galcian, what is Valua planning to do by building a place like this? If it isn't little, the Little Prince, whatever Valua does, your highness, is no longer any of your concern, if I'm not mistaken. You were the one who threw away your responsibilities and sided with these pirates. I did not throw away my responsibilities. I'm working to rebuild the Empire. <laughs> it matters not to me. I have no interest in Valua anymore. I shall dispose of you here once and for all. This is great. Of all the people to get caught by... Vice, behind you! Who is it? Is it the general? Old general? Yeah! Nice! It has been a while, Prince Enrique. He's gonna help us. Gregorio! No worries, Drubal. We're in an old-timey standoff, but I think the old dude's gonna help us. How ironic that fate has led us both here to pit sword against sword with each other. He's a servant of the Empire, man. He's not gonna turn on him. Do not worry, I am not here to fight you. Nice, dude. What? What are you doing? Gregorio, you understand the consequences of your actions? Lord Gelsian, it appears that you do not understand the, conse the consequences of your actions. You wish to revive the ancient horrors and use them to take to make the world yours. I cannot sit back and watch you destroy the world. What are you doing? Prince, you spoke the truth when we last met at Esperanza. The Empire has chosen the wrong path. You and Vice are the only ones that can stop the Armada. Prince Enrique, let my last act be in your honor. No! Don't do it! No! Don't do it! Don't do it. I'm, a I'm a virgin! Why? I will hold him off. Escape while you can. What are you saying? We'll fight with you! You must not take Galcian lightly. He is more powerful than you can imagine. And this is a military base of the Armada. If you don't escape soon, we will all be surrounded. <laughs> if you die here, the world will be doomed. Go! Our last hopes lie with you, young prince. I earned the nickname Iron Wall Admiral. I won't let him past me. And I will be able to die defending you. I cannot ask for a higher honor. Wait, don't do this! No, don't do it. 
Young Prince, Captain Vice, please. You must stop Galcian. You are our last hope. Farewell. No! Goodbye, Gregorio. Looks like he got his shadow caught in the door. Uh, Gregorio, have you made your peace? Piece of shit! I am ready to die, Lord Galcian. But I shall die defending my people against a tyrant. Alright, let's get the fuck on out of here. This place is too god dang scary. Hey, soldier, how's it going, dude? Did you get your shit figured out? Your streaming all that jazz? Did you get it going, my man? Sup, fucker? Baked as hell? I'm only one, uh, one bake deep, if, if that, is that a, is that a thing? <laughs> Can you be one bake deep? Thanks for the host. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Let's kill us some s soldiers while we accept that host from soldier. Oh no, we didn't uh, focus. Oh well. Switch to OBS, so uh, hopefully. You haven't streamed since you switched? By the way, dude, how the fuck? How the fuck are you interviewing? Uh, um, what's his name? Why can't I remember the creator of Final Fantasy's name? literally the guy that made the things Sakaguchi how, how the fuck are you interviewing Sakaguchi you fucking goat you Kojima first stream is this weekend oh okay well, good luck my man yeah Hironobu Kojima Brandosaurus did not kill that guy. He must be blocking. What a piece of shit. Who blocks in a fight? Like, come on. I don't know, bro, but I'm freaking out. Like, is it is it like over a stream? Or how, like, are you like, are you in his Discord? <laughs> are you in Sakaguchi's Discord? Did you just match match with him on Tinder or something? Sliding into them DMs. Ask him. Ask him why he thinks it, everyone thinks Final Fantasy VII is the best one, when in fact Final Fantasy IX and IV are the best ones. Worded exactly like that. <laughs> Word the question exactly like that. Okay. I think his favorite is Final Fantasy IX, if I remember correctly. Oh God. Oh god, I wanted to complete the map, so I had to go around. No encounters, please. Okay, now we gotta what a thrill our way up this ladder. What a thrill! With silence and darkness in my eyes. I don't actually know the words to the ladder song. You just contacted his PR department as a member of the press, and they accepted. That's about it. Well, time for me to make a fake press badge, my friend. Uh, does he know that you don't speak Japanese? <laughs> are, are they aware of this? Return to the Belle Delphinus. The ultimate battleship. Named after the most penetrable e-girl ever effort created. You have my questions typed out, but I hope they don't start I hope I don't start panicking. Yeah, type them out. Type out that that exact question that I asked though. Uh Gregorio, you were like family to me. And now he's dead. Or is he? What if what if Gregorio killed the final boss? I wanna play that JRPG. Where the guy who goes to like sacrifice himself to protect the heroes actually finishes off and kills the guy that's that you're thinking was the main boss yeah ask him boxers or briefs we need to know 
I'll switch my preference based on his. Lord Gelsian, what's going on? Send him back to Valua and make sure his body is well taken care of. It is worth more than your life. Yes, Lord Gelsian. They're gonna turn him into a cyborg ninja. Gregorio, you were always the kind to be the last to stay on a sinking ship. Now you're just a stinking piece of shit. Might ask him, he does have a sweet fucking mustache. The average, average weeb only knows like three words in Japanese and that's reading the subs of their own anime that they refuse to watch in English. <laughs> Yatta! Uh, ask him this, uh, um, Watashi ni fella. Ask him that. Don't ask him that. That's a request to suck, to suck your dick. Don't do that. I mean, if you do, do it at the end of the interview. <laughs> it's funny that the ship is called the Delphinus, and you have a recruit named Bell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we named the ship after the great Val Delphinus. Um, okay. Baka and Nani, also a popular choice for the weaves. Okay, where the F are we supposed to go now? Where the goddamn... Where the GDF? Back to Crescent Isle, perhaps? Let's bust out the map rooney here. Uh, where are we at, dog? In the butthole? Back, I think it's back to Crescent Isle and then the butthole, perhaps? What did you say not to ask him? Uh, Watashi ni fella. Watashi ni fella. If you're gonna ask him that, make sure it's at the end of the interview and then, and then run away. Like, leave the, leave the, 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 the ch video chat or voice chat on. Physically just run away from your computer. <laughs> Watashi ni fella means, uh, suck my dick? <laughs> SMD. Yes, exactly. Oishi Oshiri. Oishi Oshiri means delicious ass but that that is advanced Japanese that is advanced Canadian Japanese slang but he would get it he knows he's basically Canadian all right let's go back to Crescent Isle in our sexy battleship You'd rather shoot while you could do both. You do both. Just shoot yourself in like the arm or something. Though. You're gonna greet him in Japanese. Be like, uh, greet him in Japanese. Be like, Oi, Aniki, Aniki, and then just follow him around and yell Aniki over and over again. Works for every character in the Yakuza games. Oi, Aniki. <laughs> Um, oh right, they, they, uh, added a kitchen to the bar, at least they said they would, and a stage, right, I bought a stage, I dance in your honor, I dance in celebration of your victory to come, she believes I can come, uh, you will come, okay, now that my kitchen is fully stocked, I can start cooking the good stuff. Actually, would you like me to make something for you that'll help you on your mission? All the sailors used to call it a poly special. I just need 10 gruels. They're a specific type of flying fish. Order a poly special. I don't have any fucking gruels! This guy just talks about how depressed he is. I'm just gonna leave him there. Kinda feel bad, but. Konnichiwa. Arigato gozaimasu. Uh. Yeah, that works. That makes sense. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means, like, thanks. Thanks for doing this. Uh, if you want to get real, real brown nosy, say, uh, Domo arigato gozaimasu. 
uh, refer to him as senpai an uncomfortable amount of times. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? What does the the food even do? BT dub. Wait, we should heal. Let's go have a nap. Uh, just don't mess up and say Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Unless you're interviewing Cyborg Sakaguchi, in which case that is the proper way to greet him. Thought about going with Domo. I would. Don't don't say just Domo. That's what you say like to like your waiter wait waiter when they like bring you a napkin. Okay, um let's go check this sword shop. But I don't think he's got anything new. What do we got for money? Oops, wrong button. Holy shit. Okay. We got enough money to do, like, buy two level up things. Great minds. I, I right? I think each meant to say, am I right? Air right? Unless you guys are a part of the ancient air right race of people that are made of air. We are the airites. Oh, they buffed the party. Okay. Um, what am I selling here, guys? I do have gruel. I just don't have as as many as she needs. Sell the old frost blade. And let's buy some uh, big boy abilities here. Two of those. And what do you guys think? HP. I really feel like we should use this. I can't I can't kill the guy if he attacks me first and kills me first, you know? Yeah, I understand that you're nervous. The nice thing is is he won't be able to tell you're nervous because he's got an interpreter. <laughs> so you could you could like fumble everything and he wouldn't even know. He'd be like, oh sue me saying, sue me saying. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, if you f if you fuck up, just say uh, "sumimasen." And refer to him as uh, Sakaguchi-sama. Or, or, uh, or, uh, say, uh, refer to him as Sakaguchi-dono. That's like, nobody uses that prefix. Or, prefix? I mean, in English, we'd call it a prefix, but, uh... Imagine if I met Yuji Hori. Apparently, y Yuji Hori is like the most chill dude ever. Yeah, don't call him on each end. <laughs> call him, refer to him as Sama, like uh, Sakaguchi Sama. That's like Lord Sakaguchi, like very formal. Don't say Dono. That's nobody says that. That's like old samurai used to like call their master that. Omi-chan. Dono is like mob shit. He, uh, he's just a dude. He puts his pants on one leg at a time, like everyone else, except he probably pays someone to do that for him. <laughs> now, if you're inter interviewing uh, Nomura, he puts his pants on one belt at a time. His pants is basically just Lulu's dress. I'm sure of it. I'll make you a Final Fantasy you can't refuse. You know what you should ask him? Honestly, this would be like the best question ever, in my opinion. You should ask him, A, if he's played any of the Final Fantasies after he left the company, and B, what his favorite one is out of those ones. I think that's a, I think that's a cool as fuck, uh, question. I would ask, I would ask that question. And then ask him uh, what it was like to work. Because didn't he work with uh, Kira Toriyama for, uh, for Blue Dragon? Ask him what it was like working with Kira Toriyama. A ask him why he thinks um, 
why he thinks um, Nomura is so obsessed with belts. Well, a question about remasters, remakes, and sequels that I'm gonna ask him. I don't want to bring up Final Fantasy a lot because he probably gets pelted with that all the time. Yeah, but you got it. Gotta ask him. That would be a good question, I think. Like, what Final Fantasy game? Because then, like, because he never worked on those, you know? It's hard to pick something that you worked on. Like, which is your favorite? <gasps> Enrique's not courting her. Something seems to be bothering Prince Enrique. I wish you would tell me what it was. Perhaps there's something that I could do to calm him down. Oh, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> uh -oh. Ryan, he worked with uh, Toriyama on Chrono Trigger and uh, and fucking uh, Yuji Hori. That was the fucking dream team right there. So what if Dragon Quest VI sucked because of it? <laughs> You should ask him, like, what games he plays. What some of his favorite games are. Those are that's, the, that's the kind of things I would ask. Okay, what the fuck are we supposed to be doing right now? Should I go talk to Enrique? I think this is not Enrique. Enrique. Yeah, this is Venus. So the Delphinus will be able to sail into Deep Sky. I never dreamt that I'd have to go down there. Oh, I probably have to go to talk to the guy that, like, upgrades our ship. Because we got the plan, so we can go to the deep sky now, right? That was like the whole point of that mission. Vice, now that we can go higher and lower than we have before, we can explore all the places where we haven't been yet. Like you, but... I'm going to ask him what his favorite game of all time is. Nice, dude. I bet it's Dragon Quest XI. Because <laughs> it's the best game ever. Uh, Vice, I'm sorry. But could you leave me alone for a while? Alright. Fuck you then. Alright, I'm gonna nap, even though I'm pretty sure I already did that. And then let's go talk to the, uh, the ship. The ship fixie guy. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, he ma mentioned some, like, small game, and then the guy that, like, created that game is just like, Oh my god, Sakaguchi! My game is his favorite game of all time. That'd be cool. Gotta head to bed. Yeah, dude. When is it? When do you... When's the big interview? And when's it going up on YouTube? Old One Tooth? <laughs> yeah. The dude with no teeth. Let's go talk to him. I think I took the long way. I bet they have gills. Have a good one, soldier. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Thanks for the host. Enjoy your time with the great Sakaguchi. The Gooch! Alright, let's talk to old Pickle Dick here. Yep, that's what I'm supposed to do. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. your time. Okay, sweet. Well, good luck, man. I hope it all goes well for you. What's this? These are plans to enable a ship to enter Deep Sky. Can you use these plans to modify the Delphinus? I'm not sure when it'll go up. Maybe Friday night or Saturday morning. Okay, sweet. Darn tootin', but it'll take me some time. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. I can have it done in 10 days! Good, if anyone can do it, it's you. Yeah, good night, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the host. You gave the ship schematics to Brabham. Uh, if I redeem 40k to finish your beer, does that mean you gotta open one too if you don't have one? No. <laughs> I have to have one. I'm just, I'm kind of wrapping up here too, so. But I'll be back uh, Sunday morning. I won't be drinking beer Sunday morning, but I can drink beer Sunday night if you want. Modifications to the Delphinus began on that day. We needed 10 days to finish our preparations. Crescent Isle began to bustle with activity. Uh, 
using the blueprints that we took from Valua, Brawlin was hard at work rebuilding the engine of the Delphinus. Oh, you're still so oh, okay. Okay. Using the blueprints that we took from Valua, the problem was hard at work rebuilding the engine of the Delphinus. I swear I already read that. Oh, my controller disconnected. That's why. I can't wait to see what lies in deep sky with my own eyes. Far beneath the great blue sky, beneath the clouds, I can already imagine that the atmospheric pressure must be high. We must reinforce the Delphinus' hull to make sure that it doesn't collapse under the pressure. Ever since that day, Enrique began to spend more and more time by himself. Looking back, losing Gregorio must have been the hardest thing Enrique has ever faced. Upside down controller in Castlevania. Damn! And then, on the tenth day, night fell on Crescent Isle. I remember lying awake in my bed for a long time before I finally fell asleep. We're getting close to the end of Curse of Darkness, and then after that, um, we're gonna play- there was a Dreamcast demo. There was a Dreamcast game they were making that was never released, and the- the beta or whatever got leaked to the, to the internet just recently, so I'm gonna download that. We're gonna play around in that after, uh, after I finish Curse of Darkness. Ugh, oh, I still don't feel rested. Maybe because I stayed up all night the day before yesterday working on the Delphinus. I should head over to the port. If everything went according to schedule, the modifications should be finished by now. Okay. Tis a pale. Do do do. By the way, folks, if you are enjoying the stream tonight, please remember to click that heart. Show me some love. Give me a follow here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash dookie03. Help me reach that Dark Cloud 2 goal. If we can get to um, 400 followers by, I think it's like July 31st or the end of July or the end of June, I will be able to play Dark Cloud 2, a game I love but was never able to finish due to a memory card error. Um, you can also check out my YouTube channel. I do top 10s, reviews, and of course a pod our podcast um, youtube.com slash dq03 this Saturday's video I'm doing a look at the uh, original Double Dragon and all its ports check that shit out and the best place to stay in touch with all us fine fucks off stream is the motherfucking discord so click those links baby let's talk to the old guy oh Captain Vice we finished modifying the Delphinus right on time Okay, so here's the problem. This emulator does not allow me to make a backup save. Lower the pressure shutters! Are you saying I should grind before we go into the butthole? Start the submergence engine! Well, what do you think? We have successfully converted the Delphinus into a cloud-delving machine. Good job, Problem. Now we'll be able to enter Deep Sky. I'm probably more than good. Why, thank you, little lady. Before you go, I heard there's some sort of vortex near Shrine Island. You might be able to submerge through there. The vortex near Shrine Island. Got it. All right, everyone. I missed the text. Vice, wait a second. Don't bitch out. Actually, there's something important that I wanted to talk to you about. He's pregnant. I must return to Valua. I cannot travel with you any longer. This will be my last voyage with you aboard the Delphinus. What? Galcian and the Armada have freed themselves from the control of the Valoon Empire and are acting on their own free will. Galcian probably has some sort of terrible scheme planned. I must return to Valua and report this news to my mother. He must be stopped. You... you can't. It's too dangerous, Enrique. I know the dangers that I face, and I'm sure that my mother won't readily listen to anything I have to say. But, I'm still the Prince of Valua. It is my duty to go. But, Enrique... Princess, 
Do not worry about me. I don't plan on dying just yet. I will... I will return. This I swear. No! No! Don't do it! No, don't I'm do it! You. Uh, Vice, after we get Fina's ship, could you bring me to Sailor's Island? I'll be able to borrow a ship there. I hope you know what you're doing. So is the is the vortex like the final dungeon, or is there some more after that? Let's go to space, or not space. The open skies is what I'm trying to say. It's not the final. Oh, okay. All right, let's get above the clouds here and save Eon game and let us yeah no spoilers I just wanted to know if it was the final alright guys thank you so much for coming out tonight I appreciate the hell of it you guys are the fucking best I'm gonna find somebody to raid here um, so let's see if anybody I know is playing anything cool um, uh, let's raid Samantha, um, let's go, she's playing Final Fantasy VIII. Yoink, hopefully that worked. Alright, thanks again guys for coming out, I appreciate the hell out of it. I will be back on Sunday morning with some Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Don't forget my, uh, Double Dragon video goes up on Saturday morning. And Saturday evening, we're going to be doing a watch party in the Discord. Uh, we're going to be finishing off the Mega Man cartoon. There are four episodes left of the final season. Um, so if you want to check that out, be sure to join the Discord. I don't know if that works. It does work! Um, and then, yeah, like I said, Sunday will be Sunday morning. We'll be playing some Castlevania. And then Sunday evening, we'll be back playing some Skies of Arcadia. Have a good one, guys, and thank you so much for coming out.